My name is Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. This video is an excerpt from our comprehensive training course for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. AWS services have either a global or a regional scope. Now what that means is that they're administered either in one place globally or they're administered in different regions. The services highlighted in red here are the ones that are global services. So most services are actually regional, but these ones are global. So for example, with identity and access management, you create your users in one place. You don't create them in different regions. However, with regional services such as Amazon EC2, you deploy your virtual servers into specific regions. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. As you know, the AWS cloud is global. So that's represented by this white box. And the identity access management service is a global service. So it sits in the middle here. In this example, we have a couple of regions. One is US East one and one is EU West one. And we have a couple of offices. So let's say for example, we have a user called Paul, and Paul is the administrator of the EC2 resources in US East 1. Paul can log in to IAM with his account. So he has a single user account in IAM, he logs in, and then he's able to go and administer Amazon EC2. Now, if Paul were transferred to the Dublin office, he would now log in from the Dublin office, but he would still be connecting using the very same AWS account. There's only one IAM account for Paul, and he can administer the resources in EU West 1. Now, of course, because it's a global account, that means that with that one account, he could still be managing the resources in US East 1 as well. And it really just depends on the permissions that he's been assigned. So let's have a look at some regional examples. So a good regional example is EC2. So this is the service where you create virtual servers in the cloud, such as web servers, and RDS, which is a database service. You create your databases and your virtual server instances within a region. In fact, you put them in an availability zone, which I haven't shown in this diagram. But as we've discussed before, you might have multiple resources in different availability zones so that you have fault tolerance or redundancy. Now, this one's a little bit of a gray area, or at least it's a bit confusing to some people. Amazon S3 is a global service. It has what's called a global namespace. You connect to your data using a URL, just like you would a web page, and that URL has to be unique globally. But your resources are actually created within a bucket, so your data is uploaded to a bucket within a region. So that means that your data is only in one region. And this is really good if you have compliance reasons why your data needs to stay in one country or geographical area. What I'm going to do now is just show you in the AWS Management Console how you identify which services are regional or global in scope. So I'm in the AWS Management Console, and if I go to Services and choose a service such as Amazon EC2, you can see up in the top right here, I've got my region set to Sydney. So I could quite easily go and change to North Virginia. So that tells me that this service is a service which is regional in scope. You see, I'm now connected to North Virginia, and I could launch some EC2 instances in North Virginia. Now, if I go to another service, such as the storage service, S3, we'll see we now have a global scope. But though we have a global scope, we can see that I have these buckets, and these are, are the containers in which I store my data. And those are within a specific region. So most of these are in Sydney, some are in US East, North Virginia. And if we go to the IAM service, Identity and Access Management, we'll see again that this is a global service. So this is where you can go and create your user accounts. And those user accounts are only ever created in one place. So that's it for now. Just a quick overview of the difference between global and regional services.